Write a Vendor Quick Check Hopefully you've had a chance to view the Write a Check training video before this video as I'm just going to cover the specifics of how and when to use a Vendor Quick Check. For more details on the Write a Check feature, please view the Write a Check training video. Now a Vendor Quick Check is written through the Write a Check feature and it's printed normally, but it is dispersed and posted as a credit on the vendor account. For example, if you need to write a check to a parts driver for a stack of belts they just delivered, you probably would not have them wait for you to enter the restock parts invoice, post it to the vendor account, then write a check for that vendor tagging the invoice on the vendor's account. So we came up with the vendor quick check feature. Let me show you this great feature and explain the process. From the toolbar, click the write check icon and select your vendor from the payee list. We'll select Nevada Ford. Note here that the type of payee says vendor, and this is very important. It needs to say vendor for this feature to work correctly. Now it could say customer, employee, or other. So if we write this check to a vendor and disperse the check to the 20,000 payables account, the system knows to enter a credit on that vendor's account for that amount. We can then use that credit to pay the restock parts invoice once we enter that restock parts invoice into the system. So let's click Select and write this check. Enter the amount of the vendor invoice, 132.31. Change the date if needed. I'll just leave today's date. And I'm going to enter in the vendor invoice number in the memo field and it will print on the check. And that's good for reference. I'll press Tab to open the disbursement window or I could have clicked the Add button. And now I'm going to enter 20,000 to disperse this check to the payables trade account also very important. Some people get it in their head to post the check to cost of goods, a 50,000 account. We have to enter in 20,000 for this disbursement for the feature to work correctly. Payables trade are where restock parts invoices are posting, waiting to be paid, and now this is where this credit will be waiting as well. So click Post and Close, and we'll select a print now. Verify the check number is the next check in line on the printer and click OK Print. Let's take a look at the vendor account now. From the menu bar, click on Vendors and select Accounts Payable Vendor List from the drop list and we'll select Novato Ford since that's who we wrote this check for. And here is that credit for the check we just wrote to Novato Ford. So now let's enter that restock parts invoice. Click the restock parts icon on the toolbar. Click Input Receive Vendor Invoice here in the lower left and we'll choose Novato Ford by double clicking on their name and enter the vendor invoice target amount 13231 and click OK. For more details on this function see the restock parts training video. So here I'm going to quickly enter in the restock parts invoice but you can see even though I'm familiar with the feature done it hundreds of times it still takes a bit and we wouldn't want that parts driver to wait for us to get through it all. Also if these parts were not already in the system and we had to add them to inventory to our parts list first, it could take a lot longer. So again the vendor quick check comes in handy so we can worry about entering the restock parts invoice later. So once we're done with the data entry and we post it to the vendor account and update inventory, we go to that vendor account. So let's click on vendors from the menu bar, select vendor list, double click on Novato Ford, click on options and pay AP transactions. And here's the credit from the quick check that we wrote and the restock parts invoice. Tag them both and you'll see the net amount to pay is zero. Just click Next. Now we have to select a payment method, so just click Cash and then click Finish. It's a great feature and once I figured out how to use it correctly, I used it in the shop all the time. And this concludes the lesson on Write a Vendor Quick Check.